back to the Mr. Excel podcast. I'm Bill Jelen. You know, Microsoft didn't invent spreadsheets. They were actually invented by Dan Bricklin and Bob Frankston uh, back in 1978 with VisiCalc. It was a visible calculator for the Apple II. And Dan and Bob created what we know as the A1 style of cell referencing. If you're in the fifth column, that's column E, fifth row, row five, E5. That's pretty much what everyone is comfortable with. But when Microsoft created their first spreadsheet, they used something called R1C1 style referencing. That was in Microsoft Multiplan. And believe it or not, even today, Excel still likes to think in R1C1 style. How long ago, Microsoft realized that the A1 style was far more common. It had been used in Lotus 1, 2, 3. And so they begrudgingly show all of our formulas and data in A1 style. But R1C1 style is actually hiding back there behind the cells. Um, it's kind of alarming if someone actually turns it on and maybe next April Fool's you can go into your boss's computer and, and totally freak him out with this. Um, but let's take a look at the formulas. You know, I always said it was amazing that we can enter one formula in one cell and copy that to many cells, many rows, using relative and absolute ranges, and Excel gets everything right. If I hit Control tilde to go into show formula mode, You'll see that as we copy these formulas, the cell references change all over. Um, but if we go to R1C1 mode, that's under Tools, Options, General, and check R1C1 reference style. Um, first, it's alarming that all of the column letters are now replaced with numbers. Um, and if we look at these formulas, I'll go into Show Formulas mode with Control tilde again. The amazing part is that in R1C1 style, every formula here is actually identical. So, while well, I said it was a miracle that we could enter one formula and copy it and Excel is able to translate it for us. In fact, in R1C1 style, the style that Microsoft invented, that formula is identical in all of the cells and their engine that converts it back to something we can understand, A1 style, is actually what makes it appear different. There you go, a bit of spreadsheet history. Stop back tomorrow for another podcast from Mr. Excel.